Well, I can tell you how I got into the business. Uh, in high school, I was a horrible student. I was a surfer and a baseball player. Didn't care about school. I was smart. I just didn't care. I mean, an example is I, I had algebra once, one semester and got a D. And then the next semester, I said, all right, I'm going to study. And I had some friends. You know, I was always, because I had hair down on my waist. I had like all the girls that were nerds that were really smart, that were really cool, were my friends. And so they kind of helped me and said, well, this means that. That's what, it, you know, and I was like, ah. And I got an A that semester. And then the next semester, I got a D. And my mom was like, what? what? And I went, I, I just don't care. <laughs> it's like, am I ever going to use this? I, I expected to either be a pro surfer or a pro baseball player. And then, in my, and because I was a bad student, my mother, they used to have a thing called the four-year plan when you're in high school. And she put me in drama classes because she figured there wouldn't be much homework. <laughs> and I wasn't, a, you know, O.B. Roselle was my high school teacher. He was a music teacher, wonderful guy. But he wasn't a great acting coach or director. And uh, my senior year is a joke, as a dare, I auditioned for this play, uh, J.B., A Play in Verse by Archibald McLeish, one-act play competition. Got it. We won a bunch of... Like, I think we made it to the city finals or something where my mentor was the judge and immediately went, no. <laughs> it's like we were gone because it was, you know, he said, if you're hurting or in your pain, shake your hand. Oh, you know, that's kind of, you know, direction. I so I went to California to serve. I graduated high school. And, my, and I had, everyone else did, so I applied to three colleges and my brother called me in California, tracked me down finally, and said, shockingly, you've been accepted to a university, which is the University of Houston. And he goes, do you want to go to college? I said, well, I guess so. Everyone else is. So I went, and he said, you should study theater. And I went, what? He goes, yeah. And I went, well, uh, he goes, you were good in that play. And I'm like, mm -hmm. So I said, well, can I change my major if I don't like it? And he said, yes. So I said, all right, sign me up. And he went to Cecil Pickett, who became my mentor and my artistic father. And he set up my program, basically, you know, in the acting classes and everything I had to study, theater history, mime, fencing, you name it. And I went to school. I, I fell in love with acting because it taught me a lot about who I am. In order to play someone else, I have to truly understand who I am, the good and the bad. And so when I did that, I started doing all the plays, the Shakespeare's festivals, and, you know, Houston Shakespeare Festival I did four seasons with. Uh, and then I was going to grad school. I was going to Florida State Theater in Florida. And Florida State, I got my master's out of there. And I had an audition for her. And the backstory is, from what I, Dennis was offered the role. I grew up with Dennis Quaid. And then they asked him to back off because they had something else brewing, which was John Travolta. And I love John. But I was like mad. Because there's this guy from New York going to play a guy from Texas, you know, riding the bull at Gillies, which we grew up with, you know. And I'm like, hmm. And so I, w I was working at the Shakespeare Festival at night, and I, during the day I was working as a printer for, you know, seismic charts for oil companies. I had ink all over me, and I had a cowboy shirt on. And I went to the audition, and this actor, Ed Geldhart, came out. He's an old character actor. He said, are you reading next? I went, yeah, I think so. And he goes, well, if you are, you're reading with John. He's in there. So I went in and read for his best friend and gave up. Probably the best audition I've ever given, you know, I mean, to the point that when I kept looking at John, he was like, he started going, that was great. Oh, my God, that was great. And didn't cast me. They wanted a good old boy. And back then, I was a fairly decent looking kid. And about two weeks later, his, John, John's manager, Bob Lamont, called me and said, would you like to have lunch? And I said, why? <laughs> he said, talk about your career. And I went, I'm a student. He said, well, just have lunch with me and convince me to move to Los Angeles. So my father said, uh, is this guy a big guy? Is he, you know, and dad, he's pretty big. I mean, he had Mickey Rourke, Barry Boswick, John Travolta, Gary Sandy. He had like the stud farm, you know, lot of LA. So he said, I'll support you for a year. So I moved out there, September 5th, 1979. And by October 1st, I was on location. I think it was doing, I think it was October 1st, doing a series called The Chisholms with Robert Preston, Rosemary Harris, Delta Burke, uh, Jimmy Van Patten. I mean, it was, Victoria Racimo, all these really wonderful actors. And I was three weeks out of college. And that was my start. And they said I wouldn't work for a year, and I got a series in three weeks. So, And then that was also a mistake, because I thought, oh, this is easy. 
then they start partying and doing everything else any 23-year-old idiot would do. And uh, finally went, I should probably stop this and start focusing on my career, which I did. And I started doing commercials, and then I got the Thornbirds. And that sort of has been my, that's the origin of the beginnings of my career. You know, and then going to like Falcon Crest and all these different shows. But, you know, I've been really fortunate and worked really hard at it. And I was talking to my wife about this yesterday about, you know, I don't ever have never thought that I was like a great actor by any stretch of imagination. I just work harder. You know, I work, I have an audition. I don't go to bed until I'm ready to perform it. Not like I'm ready to shoot. And then if they have something to give me, I've got to have five other versions in my back pocket that I'm like, yeah, I can do that too. And, you know, I bat pretty good if I was a baseball player in terms of auditioning. And I'm much better in a room than self-tape, which they like a lot now. But I like meeting the people I'm working with. Yeah. And, you know, I have a theory. Like I'm, a, I'm a, still an avid surfer. And I'm an avid surfer.